things you need to remember in your paparazzi business is that this is a business. It's not just a hobby. It's not just, uh, you're not doing this just for fun, but you do need to treat this like a business. And there are several aspects of that. It doesn't mean that it can't be fun. It still is a lot of fun. And out of all the businesses I've ever seen, my mom and my sister and a lot of women do, this is the funnest thing they've ever done. But you do need to, to treat it seriously like that. One of the things you need to uh, think about is businesses have investments. So the investments you need to make in this business are your inventory and several other office supplies and things like that. The good news is there's a great markup on your product so that you can basically recoup that initial investment back very quickly. And as long as you keep rolling that money, keeping it in its own separate bank account and let it keep rolling, you will see that uh, this business will basically take care of itself and then start giving you a significant income down the road. One of the coolest parts about owning your own business and probably the biggest reason why people do want to own their own business other than the financial gains of it is to be your own boss. The coolest part is you don't have to answer to anybody else. You don't have to clock in and clock out at a certain time and make a certain amount of money. The best part about owning your own business is that you are your own boss. So literally, the more you work, the more you make. The less you work, the less you make. If you want to make more money, do more parties. If you want to get more recruits, do more parties. That's the secret to your success. So again, that's the benefit of owning your own business, but also it can be your detriment. If you don't work very much and you procrastinate or you're lazy, then you don't make as much. So you do need to stay focused, keep your eye on your goals, and make sure that you are working hard and working your business and doing something every day to make it grow. The whole key to this paparazzi business is working hard and getting out there and doing what it takes. Whether, that, whether it is making lots of phone calls, doing lots of home parties, lots of small events or large events, whatever it is, it's all about getting out there and working hard and doing it. Again, being your own boss has its perks and you will have a lot more perks as you go along, but don't forget that you really need to keep working hard. Just remember, the more you work, the more money you will make. One of the biggest secrets to this business is just getting out and working hard. If you wanna make more money, do more parties. If you wanna get more recruits, do more parties. What would you do with the extra money? For a lot of people, just a few hundred dollars extra will mean the world between bankruptcy and non-bankruptcy. Statistically, 87% of bankruptcies could have been avoided with just an extra $300 a month. So again, what would you do with that extra $300 a month? Or what would you do with an extra $1,000 a month or 15 grand a month? I know that sometimes these numbers seem unrealistic or, or possibly not even doable, but I guarantee you it is doable and many, many paparazzi consultants are doing it. According to the Paparazzi Handbook, statistics in their first six months of Paparazzi of 500 consultants, the average check was $300 from Paparazzi. The average consultant was making $500 a month profit from their retail jewelry sales. And 10% of the consultants that earned a commission check received over a $1,000 commission check for that month. Two of the checks were over $5,000. Remember, the two ways to make money through your paparazzi business are through jewelry sales plus your long-term commission checks. This gives you your total monthly profit, and together those are a winning combination to make you a lot of money. Office space and office hours. Try your hardest to have an office in your home or even rent an office space if you need to. This will allow you to be able to go into your certain place, your certain office space, and close the door and focus on your paparazzi business. I also recommend that you set office hours for yourself or set goals of how many hours a day to work or a week or whatever. And stick to that. Force yourself to go in there and pick up the phone and to do all the things that you need to do for your paparazzi business to grow and to be successful. Again, any, any kind of office space. If you're tight on space, if you need to put up a desk in your garage, put it anywhere. Sometimes I love to have um, a focus place where I'll go to the local library and I'll just sit down and find a room or a corner with my laptop and just sit down there and grind things out when I'm needing to brainstorm or need quiet space, things like that. So um, again, a McDonald's or Neaters, any of those kinds of places, you can sit in the corner and have free internet um, or Starbucks, any of those places, you can sit down and have free internet and have a free little warm office space to basically um, get your work done. So again, I just need to really emphasize, uh, set, set your hours, you are a business, this is a business, and make sure that you're following those to be able to do the things that you need to to make your paparazzi business successful. Now that you've set those um, goal times or goal hours or, or your office hours, make sure that you stick to them. Don't let life distract you. Make sure that you do the things you need to. So what do you do during that time? Well, here's a list of a lot of the things that you should be doing as well as things that you come up with. 
Um, first thing, learning, growing, trainings. Uh, these websites, this, this website and these trainings are great for you to keep going over. We've talked about the importance of repetition. Even if you've been paparazzi for a year or two, go back and watch these training videos at least once every few months to keep getting new ideas. We're constantly adding things to it. Um, most of the time we don't even get more than half of, of what somebody tells us or what somebody teaches us out of it. So by going back several times, you're gonna be able to be reminded of certain things or get new ideas of ways to make your paparazzi business successful. So again, keep learning, keep growing, keep reading books. Sending emails and phone calls, those are crucial to your business. Goal setting and business planning, sit down, plan out your business, plan out your goals, do what you need to. Strategies and brainstorming on how to grow your business. Sit down and brainstorm. How can you grow? How can your business grow? What do you need to do to get to the next level? Order inventory. That takes a little bit of time sometimes. You need to sit down and get it ordered. Follow up with leads for recruits and new consultants as well as home parties. Again, crucial. Make sure you do this the night right um, after you've done an event or a party if you can or the very next day. Very crucial, very important. Force yourself to pick up that phone. Sometimes we get home, we get kind of scared. Make sure you get home and you do those. Those are hot leads. Follow up with them immediately. If not, you're letting those slide. You're letting them pass you by and that, those are dollars that you're wasting and you're not getting. Goal setting, training, motivating your team and your recruits. Uh, as, as you keep building your paparazzi business, you're gonna have lots of people underneath you and they're looking to you as a leader. They need help, they need your ideas, they need your uh, motivation, they need you to help them goal set. So get on the phone with them, motivate them, get them excited. If somebody's not doing so well, bring them to your next home party, but get on the phone and, and, and keep following up with those people. Uh, research new places to sell and new, mar new ways to market. Uh, just keep brainstorming, keep thinking of new ways. Everywhere you see people, there's an opportunity there. So keep your mind open and, and your thoughts open and you'll be able to, if you have that, those office hours, to be able to sit down and just focus and concentrate on your paparazzi business, new ideas will open up to you. You'll be able to make a lot more money and be a lot more successful just by having that time to focus and do those things.